Hello everyone and welcome back to Foundation. It looks like we have a writer arriving at the beginning of this episode. Uh, not much has happened since. We've just been kind of chilling and uh, I, don't, I don't know what this guy does. First time seeing him, but I like the fact that he's coming on a horse and he has like a scroll. He's like a little messenger kind of dude. Might help if I pause the game. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. I actually kind of want to see more animals in Foundation. I think uh, that'll help live liven up the world a little bit. So I think this is a king's messenger. He's gonna come over to the town center here, or no, 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 no. He's gonna come over to the envoy has requested an audience. Okay. Um. How do, what, oh, okay, there we go. My lord, we need to choose what we need, who we want to help. Um, assist the clergy or the people. I'm gonna assist the people on this one. So I guess this is the guy that kind of shows up now. Instead of just a message coming in, he just kind of shows up. And then to click on him to accept the envoy request. That's actually a really good way to do it. I'm, I'm happy. There's a in-game representation of a quest giver. It's pretty important. All right. Um, where where are we at? What, what what's what's the plan? I think we need to expand some and build some. Um, I'm going to get another warehouse up and running. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Do I want to just keep that direction going? I think that's fine. How many builders we got? We got two builders. Uh, we'll go ahead and assign another forager for some extra food. Uh, I guess we'll max out that. Okay, still waiting on some more citizens to arrive. I need to go ahead and buy another plot of land soon so we can expand even more. Select mandate. Oh, there's mandates, okay. Uh, I prepared a list of mandates to which I could oversee the completion. Gain influence within the state, 30 days. Prospect mineral deposit. Oh, I guess these are some rocks. So mineral deposit, let's, um, let's, let's gain influence at an estate, uh, I think that would be good to do long term. So we'll, we'll, we'll start with that. That's okay. Uh, first thing that I wanna make outside of another warehouse to, to store some items is I want to get a rustic church created to help our people in their happiness don't quite know where I want to put it. You know, I'm thinking maybe right here would be good. So we'll throw the church kind of directly out from there. Okay. Uh, we'll have a simple door, nothing too fancy. This is going to be a rustic kind of church. Uh, wooden extensions. Okay. How about we do angle towers? That could be pretty cool. And we'll make them taller too. Okay. Door C. I guess that's a different variant of the door the good old door. Um, let's do... Just a simple absent nave on here. And if I flip this 90 degrees, I should be able to squeeze in just a little bit extra here. Something like that. Can I, uh, 
no, no, no. Can I undo? Crap, I can't. I can't, I can't undo. That's, that's frustrating. Um, is there any way to... Bloody hell. Alright, there we go. Button says, oh. Crap. What? Alright, hold on. Hold on. This is, this is going very poorly for us all of a sudden. So let's, let's get rid of some of these. Not using snap points. While I can kind of force the building to be a little bit more dynamic by doing so, may not be the easiest thing to do. So let's put that back in place. And then I'm gonna raise up I'm gonna try to raise up. There we go. I'm gonna raise this up by one just to get a height break, because that could be pretty cool. Now we can we can attach the door again. Okay, good. Have a door. I'm gonna put the extensions back and throw down these corner towers again like double bell, bell tower and I'm not gonna make them quite as tall as last time that's a little too much you know when when I said this was a rustic church this is this is a pretty fancy one but you know what screw it I think that's okay so we're gonna need like 104 stone 36 planks no 120 stone wait what what 123 I don't know how to quite read this 36 this, this isn't delimited quite well. It's a little hard to read. I'm pretty sure it's 123 stone, 104 planks, 36 tools. So, that's fine. We can do that. We can do that just fine. Uh, quest, deliver berries to 30 berries. All right, um, let's see. Public buildings, no, estate. How do I... How do I complete that? I totally forget. Uh, okay, deliver reward. Okay, system, warnings, okay, no, no no, warnings. How do I deliver again? I, I remember there being some sort of way to do so. So hold on. Um. How do I work that oh, works, workplace list? Okay, good to know. How do I do the thing that I'm trying to do? I don't understand. That. Okay, we don't need another person replanting. I don't think I want more than two people working at the lumber mill. Um, this. Can just be more lumber, more tools, more planks, uh, more stone. And we'll have to assign someone when we get a chance. Promotion available. Okay, here we go. You can promote some of your villagers to higher statuses. What does that do? Promoting villagers will allow you to generate extra revenue from their new needs. Promote surf. Surf needs house and religion. I believe that's what that is. Um, okay, I'll just promote all. There we go. So we have promoted our first newcomers. So, okay, so that's driving our uh, need for homes. Oh, we've unlocked a new new Splendor tier. Okay. Hmm. We can keep. All right, so we have a keep now unlocked. 
It'll be a, ooh, iron smelter, coal hut, bakery, windmill, wheat farm, stonemason, warehouse. Um, let's get a stonemason's hut out here. Ooh, we need cloth first, so that's, well, well, we'll lay that out. Um, monument, market, okay, coal, iron smelter, blacksmith. Very, I think, I feel like one of these are new, but maybe not. I need a way to get cloth. I don't see one. Ooh, weaver hut, one commoner. So we need to increase someone to commoner rank. Okay. We'll have to figure out what that takes to do. I am unsure myself. Tone is courting the labor. All right. Our bailiff is working hard, it seems. That's good. Wouldn't keep. We, we won't worry about wooden keeps right now. Um, I do need different types of food probably. So like a wheat farm could be nice, but we might want to hold off until we have a little bit more room. Windmill bakery. Ooh, these guys' homes are upgrading. Oh, dang, okay, let's get some more builders. Okay, well, maybe not. I'm, I'm kind of out of people currently, but that's okay. That's okay. I'd rather be slow on building, but more um, working towards deliver 30 berries to labor. Uh, how? How do I do that? Labor. Military manager. Build walls. Walls haven't been unlocked yet. Budget. Trade. Trading resources. Um, oh, so let's let's do this. Let's let's sell when we are above twenty to the labor people and see if that's what it is. It's it's more like a trade. Thing. Maybe. One person decided to join the village. That's good. So we're getting a new villager. Ooh, another little road is kind of splitting off. That's kind of interesting that that's happening. I don't know who you are, but you have a kind of a box on you. A trader wants to buy 30 berries, polished stone, planks, wine, wants to sell honey, tools, barrel fish. So this is one of the guys there. I don't know how to just straight up deliver the food. As far as, I, I just don't know. One new villager has arrived. Handy. Okay, so that means I can assign someone working on this warehouse now. So we can keep getting things in here. Need plenty of storage. Anyone got a house down here yet? Oh yeah, one person's got a house. That's good. Some of the core of the church is finished. Which is great. So I guess that generates like a clergy point per week potentially. I'm, I'm quite unsure about that though. Yeah, it's a great haul. Um, allows for remote villagers to higher statuses. That's fine. Not really helping me any though. Let's see if there's like a help menu anywhere that kind of tells me, hey, no? 
Oh, maybe this. Okay. 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 Uh, generate revenue. Complete their delivery request. Delivery request. All right. There we go. Uh, um. I guess I need stockpile. On here. You'll occasionally be, de be delivered missions via an envoy on horseback. To complete these missions, gather the requested resources in one of your warehouse's granaries. Then click on the green check mark. So I need to throw into storage all of our food, basically. And because I wasn't stockpiling it to do so, and we're consuming the food, um, that is essentially creating an issue because right now I don't have any anything to give away yet. Okay. Well, we have 34 days. You know, 30 food shouldn't be too bad to get. So we're, we'll switch to stockpiling on here. And, and, and our, our person still has like 39 for sale. So he shouldn't be taking too much of it right now. Ooh, the water. Water has a good audio on it. Nice and boisterous. Let's get some decorations. Mm -hmm. Fence. Yeah, I might I might start putting a fence kind of around our manor. I think that would be nice. I have to do this like one at a time. It's kind of interesting. I'm not to do it that way, but okay. this one around and get the planks on the opposite side. It's not too bad. A monk is requesting audience. So this is a monk here. Uh, a king demands some materials. The clergy wants to renovate some of his churches, but our own workers are in need as well. Um, let's, let's help the ooh, 50 planks. 50 planks. Let's, ass let's assist the people again, because in my opinion, okay, there we go. So, so we did that immediately. That's not too bad. And that gives us, gives us some estate points to use there. Um, how are we, how are you doing in terms of stockpiling food? Not good. I might need to make a ga another gathering hut first here would have expected to have a little bit more there oh we need a name for our village too how do I how do I, how do I, how do I close this I don't know okay Things, things are going in an interesting way right now. Definitely, definitely going not in the way that I expected. Okay, we got that. That's fine. Let's assign another builder here. Uh, is it this? No. Villager list? No. Ah, there it is. There it is. 
So we have four newcomers and 18 serfs. It looks like estate wise at 20 serfs, we can get the fishing hut, which we really need um, for more food variants. And we'll, we'll have some fishing huts along the water down here. Money wise, we're not making any. We're basically net zero on money currently. So I'm trying to think of a good way. To help with that. Start construction on that plank there. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy I went with the, the extra raised roof here. I think that turned out nice. And it'll just look even better once we get the additional towers on there. Still don't know why fences are a little annoying to do here. I mean, at least they instantly build and they don't take any of my builder off their uh, current task, but uh, it is a little annoying. And then if we go decorative, we can do some decorative bushes. There we go. G give our Lord Manor, you know, a little bit more of a village head type of feel to it. Village chief. I'm gonna make sure we're extracting all the resources we really need there. Lovely. House is upgrading. It's just requiring wood, which we have plenty of it. Newcomer, newcomer, newcomer. Where's all of our builders? Edward. What are you, what are you doing? Ooh. Bailiff. Promotion is available. Promote to surf. One and two. Promote to commoner. Requires food, ale, I think, and a bigger home. So we're gonna hold off on that because we don't we don't have time for those, but we've unlocked a new tier. Fishing hut. And let's get a hedge, and you know what, we'll get them all. I think that's fine. And let's get a fishing hut built. Super important here. We'll actually get probably two of them. One there and then maybe another one down here. I don't want them too close to each other. I don't know if they're gonna have a, a downside to being too close to each other like Banished has. So we'll, we'll keep them separate for now. Waiting on a builder. What are all my builders doing? They're doing nothing. I mean, we just got another person, so that's good. Um, resource is being stockpiled. Okay, let's let's unstockpile these real quick. We were pretty close. Gain influence. Uh, let's 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 hold off on that. We don't have money right now. We need to start doing. We need to start selling our berries. Build a wooden keep. It's another quest. Yeah, stockpiling th those berries for so long basically killed our bank account. Currently, it's not it's not awful. I think we can get it back, but uh, right now we're sitting at zero. 
Oh, I need to change our trade as well because I was thinking no trade, no trade on food. We're, we're gonna keep all of our food because I think I think I was I was selling all my stuff um, rather than than keeping it. So that's definitely an issue as well. So yes, my people, please come to the market, buy, trade, have a good time. That's our bailiff. He's gonna have his own house soon. Which will be lovely. Things are progressing slowly, mainly because our builders are just kind of chilling. There you go. Start building some other things. Get that stuff made. That, that little house that our, that our bailiff is, is living in. That's pretty funny. It's a house level one. This one's turning into a level two. I think. It's kind of interesting. We're getting a little bit of a main main road being developed and a little offshoot road over here. Um, and it's interesting that the manor home is kind of tucked in the back here. A little bit different than, you know, anything else that I've done. But definitely fine. Just need some more food. It's a bunch of hurry up and wait at this point. Because we got plenty of materials. Uh, we're just missing tools, I suppose. I don't know how we generate more of them. I don't know if they just get generated a little bit at a time from the workshop. Nice, we have house level two. I think these might be different than what I've seen in the past. I could be wrong. Yes, yes. Message from the church. They're happy that we built such a beautiful building in the town square. And because of that, we've uh, unlocked some additional parts for the church. Some more rustic items. Let's see what it's like. What we got here. So we got some additional extensions, some, some gravestones. Something minor. We could, we could do a little bit of a graveyard. That'd be nice. That'd be nice for sure. Wow, our density is is getting far more kind of crammed in here. I kind of like that. That's good. The builders are actually off getting some of their other things done and our happiness is being restored at this point, which is making me Pretty happy myself. How many more days until we fail this thing? Ten days. Yeah, we don't we don't have enough people getting berries yet. We need a lot more. I mean I don't necessarily have to finish that quest because we have a bunch of labor points right now anyways. Ooh, the church bells are ringing. Nice. The market was upgraded. We got a little little bench. There we go. There's some more food. Got another person joining. maximum there. I kind of only really want two gatherers huts on that. And then with our two fish, we're going to need a fish stall, I suppose. So if I edit this and do another food stall. Kind of like that. So we can start getting some fish in here as soon as we get the fishermen in. 
It'd be nice if the if the weather actually changed. I mean, it's month five. I don't know how many years it's been. If it's even been a year. If, if it's if it's technically you know May, then it's not too bad. But I, I would like to see weather, uh, like snow and things. It's technically. You guys might be not be able to see this, but it is raining right now. You might be able to see some droplets, but uh, it's it's definitely not very noticeable that it is raining. I would like to see like seasons though, like snow and things like that. Ooh, so we kind of hit the limit there. So we'll get rid of two people. And we'll assign some fishermen instead. So two people off off the berries and onto the boats. That way, you know, we don't have people just waiting for berries to spawn. Um, that's that's a that's a whole whole bit of trouble that I don't want. In the current plan of things. And then when when I get the food. Hopefully, from these, let's swap this out for fish. Let's talk maximum fish. And then maybe some wheat storage, stock maximum wheat. Stock maximum bread, I suppose. Okay. Sign you market fish. So we have a fish market and berry market going. One day left until the berries are harvested, but we just don't have enough in, in our stockpile right now. That's that's not really surprising to me. But you know, just just a sign that we were a little inefficient in our efforts there. We're getting that now. Coal hut produces coal in exchange for wood. Iron smelter produces iron in exchange for coal and iron ore. So this stuff up here is probably iron ore. Um, blacksmith produces tools in exchange for coal and iron. Okay. I wonder if I can throw like a wheat farm right here. Upfront cost is 72 gold, which we do not have by any any stretch of the imagination. In fact, our our currency is pretty down there. I might have to start like selling planks and stuff. So let's see. Um, um, you're buying fruit. You're Polished stone planks. Okay, trading resources. Planks. If over. 40. Sell if above value. Okay. And berries. We don't really want to sell. Polished stone. I think there is a stonemason hut. But we need cloth. Which I somehow got. <laughs> Don't know how I ended up getting it, but uh, we got them. So swap that out for polished stone then. And we'll swap this out for normal stone instead of tools. Okay, looking good. I think I think we have a good foundation, huh? It's the name of the game, and. Uh, this is this is a, looking like a lively little village. The church bells are ringing. I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, we'll be back with another episode real soon as we hopefully start expanding, making some more currency, especially with our trades. And with that, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next episode.